and at a tough man competition in trail over the weekend, he tangled with two boxers. One was over 100 pounds heavier and five years his senior. Oh, well, I fought a 305 pound rugby player, you know, and I put him away in the second round. Was that, was that a knockout? Yeah, it was a knockout. And uh, then I put away, uh, yeah, it was six foot three, 210 from Vancouver here. That punch qualified him for an even bigger competition next month and a $10,000 purse. But Sutcliffe's hopes for glory on the tough man card have been KO'd by a ban on boxers under the age of 19. He's just 16, and a new rule introduced by the Vancouver Athletic Commission is specifically aimed at him. He's not a cutie. He's not a fancy dad. He doesn't stab, jab, and run. This kid loves to fight. He loves to throw right hands, and he keeps moving one way forward. He's a very crowd-pleasing, entertaining fighter, but anytime you're a Rocky Marciano type fighter walking in, you're catching punches, and whatever you say, the bloody fight game, all these punches mount up. It's like an adding machine. And I don't want to see him get hurt or marked or... Uh, he's only a kid. He hasn't finished growing yet. And Vancouver Athletic Commission Chairman Dave Brown knows the boxing game. As an amateur and pro, he fought 56 fights. Later coached Canada's Olympic boxing team. And more recently, refereed eight world title fights, including the Muhammad Ali George Chevallo heavyweight title fight. If we let this kid fight and he got hurt, we, the Vancouver Athletic Commission, would be leading with our chin. We would be crucified by the general public. And I think Mayor Campbell would be looking for a new boxing commission. And while Shane is just 16, a grade 11 student at Nanaimo's John Barsby School, he was counting on the tough man competition to launch his boxing career. And with 18 wins in the ring, is angry because he can't compete. Sure, it makes me mad because what more do I have to do to prove? I've already fought guys 100 and some pounds heavier than me, you know, prove that I won't get that hurt and still if it, it doesn't mean nothing to him you know I've, I've I've never been knocked down I've never been hurt I don't understand why why they they can't give me a chance I know how tough my kid is exceptions can be made look at the exception I mean uh, I think those other guys would like to see the exception to the rule that he couldn't get in the ring either One, two, three. <laughs> I think you have to take a look at the individual, and that's very important. Shane has the strength and the ability of a man. In his 21 fights he has had in the last two years, he has not fought anyone under 19 years old. Now, of those uh, 21 people, 10 of them he's knocked out. He's had 17 wins, and his only losses have been real close losses. They say there's nobody around in his age group to fight, and he has to look for those bigger fights if he wants to continue. Well, it's not going to do it on this card, I'll tell you right now. We've already talked and we gave him a fear here, fair hearing this week. We had a video up at City Hall. We had his dad. We had the youngster himself up there. We looked at his fights. We thought it over. We talked it, discussed it for a lengthy period after they left. And we're not going to change our mind. Fast and snappy. That's it. I want to make this my full career. I, I love boxing. I work out five days a week. I work out hard and I, and I want to go somewhere. You know, and, and I need the experience. You're looking at the very quick and uh, fairly powerful hands of, okay, that's enough, Shane. 18-year-old Shane Sutcliffe from Nanaimo. You're a 9-2 and two as a pro, Shane. You got a big fight coming up this Friday in Nanaimo. Tell me about it. Well, it'll be my first eight-rounder. It's against a big guy, 6'4", 245. Uh, Daryl Dynamite Gray. He's from Kentucky. He's a bouncer. Don't guys ever have wimpy names? I mean, they're always Dynamite or Kid Thunder. Or... <laughs> well, uh, there is guys like Wimpy Halstead. They fought Tom Morrison, but... Uh, <laughs> But he's going to be a tough fight for me. I know he's a banger. I know he's a real aggressive, but I'm best shape in my life. Uh, I've got Connor Nelson, former heavyweight Canadian champion, my sparring partner. You're making any money at it? Oh yeah, uh, it's it's turned around. I mean, we're starting to make some good money. We're we're getting some uh, sponsor and backing deals, and it's a matter of picking through and picking the right things that'll help me out in my career and everything. Best of luck, and uh, don't take too many shots to the head. Now we're going to call in a gentleman. Who is young man familiar to everyone. He's trying to resurrect a struggling career that at one time seemed destined for greatness. <coughs> His pro boxing career began without a single amateur fight when he was 17 years old. Today, Nanaimo Shane Sutcliffe, at 25, is on the comeback trail. 
The former Canadian heavyweight champion just a few years ago was considered a sure bet to be among the world's best. But since he lost his Canadian title to Trevor Burbick in 1999, it's been a struggle. On Friday, Sutcliffe will be featured on the kickboxing boxing extravaganza set for the Victoria Curling Club. The seasoned Sutcliffe today weighs in at a lean 230 pounds, and he says he'll rekindle the magic. I uh, feel that this year I'm really going to string up uh, four or five wins by the end of this year. And by, by next year, people are going to be talking about me as a top 10 guy. By, by uh, 2003, I know I'll be a top 10. And I'm confident, and I believe in, in my heart that one day I'll be a world champion. Four years ago, many thought that Sutcliffe would someday be a world champion. He's had big-time opportunities that did not pan out. He acknowledges today that if he had it to do all over again, some things would be different. I, uh, I've been mismanaged, and I've, I've uh, gotten a few fights I've never should have been in. But in the end, I've got a lot of great experience. I've been in there with Riddick Bowen, Holyfield, and I've fought guys like David Tua and Brian Nielsen, Trevor Burbick, and Leon Spinks. I've got to look at Hussein Rockman, uh, just knocked out Lennox Lewis. He's, what, 29 years old, 28 years old. I'm 25. Oleg Muskaya, the Russian that happened to cut me in the second round, and uh, uh, I was stopped because of the cut. I was in that fight. I'm telling you, I could beat Oleg Muskaya. Well, he knocked Hussein Rockman out cold for half an hour about six months ago, you know. So I'm in great, fantastic shape, and I just am looking to start over again. You know, it's like my pro debut. I'm excited. I got the fire. I want to uh, get a knockout. It's been a couple years since I knocked someone silly. And I uh, think this Friday is going to be my night.